So we're asked to integrate um, this right here. And let's see if we can do it. So solution. Uh, it looks like a u substitution won't work uh, because if you let u be anything here, uh, then when you take the derivative, well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and, and there's nothing out here. So I, I think the best way to do this is just to multiply this out. So before we do that, recall there's a formula. If you have a plus b quantity squared, how do you, how do, you do this? Well, you take the a and you square it. Then you multiply these and you multiply by 2, so plus 2ab. And then you square the b, so plus b squared. So in our case, this is a and this is b. So we're going to get e to the negative 3x squared. Now when you square this, you just get e to the negative 6x. So the first term will be e to the negative 6x. Now you have to multiply the 3 and the e to the negative 3x and multiply by 2. So we'll get 6 e to the negative 3x. And then we squared, squared the 3, so we get 9. And don't forget the parentheses, dx. So all we did was multiply it out using the formula. You could use, uh, you know, FOIL if you prefer. Uh, I just like to take advantage of this formula whenever, whenever possible. Uh, let's go ahead and break it up. So this is going to be e to the negative 6x dx plus 6. I'll pull the constant out. e to the negative 3x dx plus, uh, I guess I'll leave this constant in, 9dx. All right, when you're integrating something like e to the ax, dx, just to uh, avoid having to work it out. All you do is divide by a, so it would be e to the ax over a plus a constant. And this works as long as a is not zero. If a is zero, it's silly. You get e to the zero, which is one. Uh, pretty boring. Okay, so here uh, a is negative six. So we're going to divide this by negative six. We get negative e to the negative six x over six. So I just wrote the negative on the outside plus 6 e to the negative 3x over negative 3. I, I didn't write it that time. Uh, plus 9x plus c. Let's go ahead and clean it up. So we end up with negative 1 sixth e to the negative 6x. 6 over negative 3 is negative 2 e to the negative 3x plus 9x plus c. And that is the answer. So in this problem, we really didn't have to use any techniques other than multiplying.